On my last video I built this. This is a Wankel Rotary engine that uses a triangular rotor instead of a piston. I designed it primarily to use compressed air, but on my last video I found something that works even better. This is a CO2 cartridge and is basically a container with a lot of pressured gas inside. To release the pressure you need to perforate this membrane here and to do that you can use a quick release valve. You just screw this in and we can release the pressure by doing this. Now, because I don't want to open the valve manually, I want to do it remotely, I need to modify this valve. So I think I'm going to disassemble it and try to modify it. Yep. So you can see the hole in there. Uh, that's where the, the gas is coming from. And here you can see uh, the nail that is doing the perforation. I need to thread this hole here from both sides so I can use a valve to open this, a secondary valve. Okay, so I have the electro valve connected uh, to the adapter. And I'm going to see if it's working and if I have legs. So my electro valve didn't really work. It couldn't handle the 800 PSI coming from the cartridge. And I couldn't really find one that could. So I contacted Joel from Joel Creates because I know that a while back he made a video using these cartridges to make a hot glue gun. And he said... I bought this valve on Amazon and you should buy it too. And I said, that's gonna take forever to get here. So he said, sucks to live in Portugal, doesn't it? To what I responded, well, your hat sucks. I get a little bit emotional when people talk shit about my country. So he responded, yeah, my hat sucks, but at least I have a valve. And he kind of has a point. I mean, I have no valve, but if I learned something from Great Scott, is that when you can't buy, you DIY. So I made my own valve. So I won't be able to use this electro valve. My plan B is this smaller valve that can handle the pressure, but I have to turn it manually. So to solve that, I'm gonna use this geared motor and some extra gears to open it remotely. So a while ago I stole this circuit from an RC car, a cheap one, uh, and I used it in my Tesla turbine boat. Uh, I'm gonna see if it's still working. Look, every single time that I press this button, I get 5 volts. Which means if I connect the motor here, I should get enough torque to open the valve. It is recording. Okay, everything seems to be running fine. I'm gonna test it with a cartridge now. Okay, let's do this. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> what the hell happened? Did you catch that? She did catch that. Look at my stupid face. I thought I was safe because I turned it sideways. Idiot. Okay, so just to show you guys how cold this is, uh, I'm gonna try to freeze a tomato with it. I'm doing this for scientific reasons and not just because I ate tomatoes and I want to freeze some tomatoes. Yeah. In three, two, one. <laughs> well, he didn't froze the tomato. But he got his, his hair off. Look at that. 
Once I had my fun trying to freeze tomatoes, I tested it on my Wankel engine. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's so cool. Because everything seemed to be working just fine, which is odd, I jumped into SolidWorks and I designed the dragster car that at his heart had my electro valve and my Wankel engine. For the power transmission I used aluminium rods and some pulleys that I 3D printed in resin, also some rubber bands. Um, the wheels I also 3D printed in resin and the tires I got from a dead RC car. Once the beast was ready, I gave it a go. Okay, so the car is ready and me and Katrina are gonna give it a test with some cartridges. Let's do this. In three, two, one. <laughs> okay, so that worked pretty well, I would say. Uh, let's give it another go. Three, two, one. Raise your glass, you've made it another year. So Katrina was just singing. Do you want to sing some more, Katrina? No. <laughs> so, uh, so far I did tests with 16 grams cartridges, which are this size. Now I'm going to try the 20 grams cartridges, which are this size. Let's see what happens. In three, two, one. <laughs> For some reason, the engine is stuck. I don't know why. I need to open it up and see what's going on. I was wondering why the engine wasn't uh, moving and I kind of find out. I disassembled the engine and this happened. The inner gear is completely destroyed. Are you seeing that? I need to change the casing. I mean, it won't take long, but uh, it's still pretty funny. Maybe I shouldn't have used uh, the 20 grams cartridges. No shit, Sherlock. So Katrina made this ramp out of cardboard and we're gonna see if we can make the car go through the ramp. I'm curious to see if the car has power enough to go through the ramp. Okay. Three, two, one. I don't think I'll be able to use the Wankel engine to make the car go through the ramp, but I've seen people on the internet using these cartridges as rockets. So what I'm gonna do is remove this adapter and let the, the gas out and use it as a rocket to try and make the car go through the ramp. Let's see if that works. It's gonna be cool at least. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. In three. Hey Ram, do your job. In three, two, one. I turned this in the wrong direction. No shit, Sherlock. In three, two, one. Calm down before you stress up the groove. The energy a little different when the blessings are cool. Hey, who you talking to? Just no, I ain't no regular fool Could be anything in the world But I can never be you Because I stand tall like I'm on my tiptoes Baby, you think a little too small I got big goals, baby Hey, where the money? Yeah, look, I just need the info Well, I guess the rocket car won But the Wankel engine also gave a show And the only reason why it didn't do better Is because when I was designing the car I forgot a tiny little detail The engine rotates at 5,000 RPM which is a little bit of an overkill for the wheels. These kinds of projects are a great reason to get into 3D printing, but I know that not everyone can afford a 3D printer. That's the reason why, on my last video I gave away a 3D printer to the most liked comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The winner was Alexandro, 
and he suggested that I could design a fully 3D printed drone. That's an interesting project. If you also want to win a 3D printer, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video and post a comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The most liked comment will receive a brand new 3D printer. Well, this is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and remember, tomatoes are disgusting. See ya! Raise a glass, you've made it another year. Happy birthday, have a laugh, crack a smile, even shed a tear. Because it's your birthday.